A very common issue most online store owners face is having an inconsistent look with their store because their product titles are looking way too long which makes the store look very unprofessional. Which is why it's very important to keep the shopping experience of your store consistent by making the product titles of the same length. Today in this video we're going to be looking at how we can simply set the maximum length of product titles on our home page, shop page, category page and the single product page. Getting started with this video let's take a quick look at the difference between a store with a consistent look and another with one. Although this is the same store but you can simply tell the difference as to which is more professional in just a glance. So guys taking a look at our store we can simply scroll down and as you can see right here we are having an inconsistent look with this particular section right here and we can see we have these product titles on a two line, this on a double line and we have this on a single line and basically we just want to make our product titles having a single line and having a consistent look with the sections. So scrolling down, we can see this is still applied for other sections right here. And we can see for this particular product, this one exceeds the two lines and we're having three lines for this particular product. And you can see we're having an inconsistent look with this particular store. And we're going to be going through the home page, we're going to be going through the shop page as well as the product categories. So for us to be able to work this out, we simply need to head over to our WordPress dashboard. So we can simply put in our website URL slash WP admin or we can simply come down to this and click on our dashboard. So once we've clicked on that, this is going to take us to our WordPress dashboard. And the next thing we want to do is to hover over plugins and click on add new. And once we've clicked on add new, this is going to be taking us to our WordPress plugins directory. And what we want to do now is to search for wool title limits. And once we search for wool title limit, we can see we have 7,000 plus active installs, 17 reviews, and it's compatible with the version of our WordPress. And this plugin is developed by DMRW. So we simply need to click on the install now, and we want to activate the plugin. And once that is activated, this is going to take us to the plugins that are installed on our website. So for us to be able to access the wool title limits settings page, we simply need to scroll down and search for wood title limit and we can see the option right here or we can simply hover over our settings on our wordpress dashboard and we can see the wood title limit option right here so we just simply need to click on that or you can click on the settings right here once we've clicked on that this is going to be taking us to the wood title limit settings page as you can see right here we have the general tab we have the shop page we have the product page we have the category page we have our home page and we have the tab page and taking a look at this, we can see it says some settings that affect all areas. So basically what this means is once we check this box, this is going to be affecting the entire product titles. And we don't want that. We want to individually set the product titles for the shop page, the products page, the category page, as well as the home page. So getting started with these settings. So for this, I'm going to be putting this as 22. And you can see right here we have the ellipsis, which is this three dots right here. And it's always advisable to add this ellipsis to the product titles. So whenever your visitors or your customer get to see the product titles on the home page without the complete product titles, they can be able to tell that there is more to the product titles than what is actually displayed right there. So by clicking on save changes, I'm just going to clear cache and let us head over to our website. So coming down to our website, I'm just going to refresh this and let's see how that took effect. As you can see right here, we are having our product titles on the same line, which is just good. And we have a consistent look with our homepage. So heading over to our category page, let us just open up the health and beauty category. So as you can see right here, we're having this particular product not being on the same line and not being consistent with the other products. So for us to be able to work this out, we simply need to come down to category. I'm just going to set this as 30 and click on save changes with the ellipsis option check. And I want to click cache. So coming down to our website, for the category page let's just refresh this and see how that took effect as you can see right here we have a consistent look with our website and for the next option which is the shop page let us just quickly copy this and open up a new tab and put in slash shop so this is going to be bringing up the entire product on our store so coming down we can see for that particular product we're still having an inconsistent look with that particular product right here so scrolling down let's just take a quick look at other product and we can see every other product is on a single line apart from this one 
So coming down to our good title limit, let's just click on this and set this as 30. I'm still leaving the three dots check. Click on save changes and we want to click cache. So once we've cleared cache, we want to head over to our website once again. I want to refresh this. And once that is refreshed, we can see right here, we are having that consistent look with the entire shop page. So heading over to our whole title limit settings page, coming down to the product page, I think it's always advisable to leave this as zero. So the customer gets to see the entire product title of that particular product so that they get just about enough information about the product as possible. So I'm going to click on save changes. And for the tag page, I recommend you leave this as zero. And that sums it up for this video. Applying this simple yet powerful strategy can help beautify your store and obviously improve your conversions. Hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please show support by hitting the like button to help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more people, which in turn helps my small channel grow. If you are looking to learn more about how to design a website, as well as other web-related stuff, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when a new video gets published to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.